Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, and I just wanted to do a quick update on our study of the Jezebel spirit, the seven spirits of Mary Magdalene. Um, you know, we found these in the Testament of Solomon, and for the last couple of few years, we've been trying to get an understanding of how to deal with these seven spirits. And in today's video, I want to share what I've found when it comes to deception. You know, one of the previous ones I said, that's the one I'm having trouble with. It's basically you don't have a solution to it. Of course, over here in the Testament of Solomon, when it's talking about deception, it says that the angel who frustrates deception is La Majdalel. And up until today, I haven't found much on it. But today is the Sabbath day and I have been um, doing a lot of prayer and study um, in preparation for this particular research. I wanted to find out, you know, what this um, angel is, how to use this particular angel to frustrate deception. So all praises to our father in heaven. What he led me to do was to do a search for Lamech. Of course, we in our previous research, we found that uh, second Baruch will or the books of Baruch will be the solution for strife. Reading those books will help you deal with strife. In, in other words, those books help teach patience. And by getting an understanding of what we are to learn from the books of Baruch, second Baruch in particular, we can then learn to deal with strife. And that's similar to how we deal with error. Uh, there is the shepherd of Hermes, which, you know, gives us a handle on how to deal with this particular uh, spirit or the spirit of error. Once we read the Shepherd of Hermes, we'll have some clues, more than clues, on how to deal with error. Well, we believe that this Lamechalel could also come in the form of a writing and a book. Because when we look for Lamech, we end up finding this book here called The Tales of the Patriots. Um, it's also called um, Genesis Apocryphon, but they almost named it the Book of Lamech. And the reason why they almost named it the Book of Lamech was because of um, how they found it. When they found the book, apparently that was all that was on the front of the scroll that they could read was Lamech, the father of Noah. The Genesis Apocryphon is one of the four scrolls which was brought into the United States by Metropolitan Samuel and it was in very poor condition. The pages were stuck together and all that could be deciphered from the outside was the name Lamech, Noah's father. And because they had the book in their possession for so many years without opening it, they actually had already wanted to name it the Book of Lamech, but once they got it open, they found that it contained information about Noah and Abraham as well as Lot in there. So they knew that it wasn't authored by Lamech itself. But the thing is, as far as writings go, um, I find it really interesting. So and then there is what it says, too. So let me go ahead and play a clip from uh, another channel here. I'll reference it down. If you want to see the whole video, I'll reference it down in the description of this video. Among the first seven scrolls found in 1947, this fragmentary Aramaic text, now commonly known as the Genesis Apocryphon, was one of four scrolls originally purchased by Mar Athanasius, the Metropolitan of the Syriac Orthodox Church in Jerusalem. The scroll was eventually unrolled in 1956, after being purchased by the State of Israel by an American businessman, and was later published in the same year. The Genesis Apocryphon narrates a retelling of events from the lives of biblical characters such as Lamech and Abraham. The scroll begins with Lamech worrying about the nature and origin of his son. Lamech states that the conception was from watchers and the seed from the holy ones and to Nephilim. He confronts his wife Batanosh, who urges her husband to acknowledge that the child is indeed theirs. Lamech, however, does not believe her and runs to his father Methuselah, who in turn approaches Enoch for wisdom on the situation. Enoch eventually instructs Methuselah to return to Lamech and tell him, the child is truly from you and not from the sons of heaven. This child, of course, is the biblical character known. This story situates this text within what is called an Enochic cosmological model seen in other texts from Qumran. Lamech's fear is that his wife has actually given birth to a giant from whom evil spirits dwell inside. 
a story perpetuated in the Jewish books of 1st Enoch and Jubilees. Columns 19 and 20 record a retelling of Genesis 12, elaborating on God's protection of Sarah against Pharaoh for a period of two years. Several lengthy expansions have been added to this narrative in the Genesis Apocrypha. How God stopped so on from sleeping with Sarah is greatly elaborated. God accomplishes this by sending a chastising spirit in order to detain him. This chastising spirit is also referred to as an evil spirit and a spirit of foulness. Pharaoh calls upon his own healers and court magicians to heal him, but they are unsuccessful and attacked by the evil spirit. As a result, one of Pharaoh's servants asks Abraham to come lay hands on him so that he may be healed. Abraham then lays his hands on Pharaoh, causing the plague to be removed from him and the evil spirit was rebuked, expelled, or exorcised. The spirit in the Genesis Apocryphon seems to act in a way similar to what is found in 2 Chronicles 18, 18 to 22, and 2 Kings 22, 19 to 23, where God uses a lying spirit to enter the mouths of the prophets in order to entice King Ahab. The text does not explicitly explain how the evil spirit kept Pharaoh from sleeping with Sarah, Though the violent attacks suggest that it was a similar way to how the demon Asmodeus in the book of Tobit kept a different Sarah's fiancés away. All right, so there you have it, guys. This book is included in the Dead Sea Scrolls. And I think I'm looking at it here in PDF form. So what I'll do is I'll try to um, give you guys at least a link to it. But look in the comment section i may go ahead and find a way to paste all of this text down here if you wanted to read through this book i wanted to hurry up and share this information with you guys so you can you, we can read it together and find out if it in fact holds some clues for how we can deal with deception uh there is an audio book also i'll give a link to it it's kind of a computer generated thing but i'll give a link to it down below so uh look for those links uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and peruse this book and see if it can help us deal with deception. If so, we'll make a, another video on it, uh, giving some more information about how to use this book to help us deal with those seven spirits of Jezebel. Uh, in the meantime, y'all can check out the playlist if you haven't done so. Um, the other videos that we've done on the subject, uh, please hit the like button and leave us a comment. And we'll see you in the comment section. Shalom.